Hello everyone. I have been asked many times on comment section that gate level modeling tech gate level modeling technique and structural modeling technique look same. So is there any difference between them? So today's topic is gate level modeling versus structural modeling. So what is a gate level modeling technique is if you write a very log code and if you includes only basic gates basic gates means and or xor nor all these are basic gates okay and these are also called primitives so primitives are nothing but but suppose if you want to write a very log code for and gate then you don't need to write whole code just include the primitives primitives means these modules are already there these are predefined modules which are already there in verilog library i will show that one okay how to write this one so these predefined modules are called primitives so if your design is based on pure gates pure basic gates or primitives then those kind of designs are called gate level modeling technique design okay for example even if you want to write a verilog code for flip flop then here what we are doing here for example see this is a sr flip flop circuit okay so here it includes two and gate and two nor gate so if you are writing verilog code for this sr flip flop using this primitives only means two and gate and two nor gate then this technique will be called gate level modeling technique okay and this gate level modeling technique doesn't include any user defined module so if you don't write any user defined module then this is called gate level modeling technique so let me show you the example so this is a verilog code and these are the inputs and these are outputs so here see these are the primitives so you don't this is and gate this line in force see we have not written the whole verilog code for and gate we have just included this this constructs for xor we have included xor constructs then or these are prim these are called primitives it is already if you write this one and if you give input output for example this line in force a hardware xor hardware this one and this one in force a or hardware this one so these are called pure prim these are called primitives so this and xor or whatever we have written here so this is we have included primitives only so this is a gate level modeling technique okay for example see this is a half adder circuit so this is the circuit for half adder and this one is xor and this is one xor this is and gate okay so if you write very log code for half adder using the primitives only means you have one xor see we have included here xor and we have included one and get and get primitives of and get okay so this is a pure gate level modeling technique because we have only included primitives and we have designed this logic this is a this is a full adder okay this is a full adder circuit so there are two way you can write this uh, very you can write very low code for a full adder the first way is you include all the primitives like see this full adder includes two xor gate two and gate and one or gate so you include all these all these primitives two xor primitives two and gate primitives and two or primitives like this way like the way we have written here the code for half adder then this will be called gate level modeling technique this is for this is one way to write very log code for full adder uh, what is the se second way see this full adder includes two half adder that we know okay then one or also in includes so you write very log code you first write verilog code for a half adder then inside the full adder what you have to do instantiate you have to instantiate two half adder because this full adder you can design full adder with the help of two half adder circuit so include this two half adder and one or see the here one or is there two half adder and one or is there but this or is primitives you can include primitives for this or gate so here this one is primitives but this half adder is not primitives we are not primitives in the sense we have not written the here or we have not included primitives for half adder so these are called user defined module these are called user defined code this half adder okay so 
it is definitely not a gate level modeling technique because here we have included user defined module or user defined code but in gate level modeling technique it doesn't include user defined module and it is purely based on this primitives or basic gates okay what is a structural modeling the structural modeling includes user defined module it includes user defined module and law or this user defined module is also called logic instantiation here see these are user defined module but here we have instantiated this half adder so this is also called instantiation of the logic the structural modeling so the structural modeling includes user defined module or the logic instantiation and may or may not include your gates or primitives that means structural modeling techniques may include primitives or may not include primitives but it must include user defined module or logic instantiation for example see this one uh, this one is t flip flop so this one is a d flip flop then there is a nor gate here there is a nor gate here so if you write verilog code for this one how it looks like first you write verilog code for this d flip flop so this is a behavioral modeling tech we have i have written this code using this behavioral mo behavioral modeling technique this d flip flop okay this is d flip flop then what i have done here inside the t flip flop i have instantiated i have instantiated this d flip flop and this is user defined module or user defined code okay then there is a not gate if you see here so there is a not gate and this not gate if you have to write code for this not gate then this is a primitives okay so here in this t flip flop very log code we have included one user defined module or instantiated this user defined module and primitives this is structural modeling technique so so this is all about b this uh, gate level modeling technique and structural modeling technique and i hope that you all understood now what is the difference between a gate level modeling technique and a structural modeling technique so thank you so much